Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Hello, people. Welcome back. Happy birthday to you, to everybody who's is today's is birthday. You said that's birthday a few days ago. You guys I know it? that's random, but I just feel like singing happy birthday to the world. Happy birthday to you. Everyone say happy birthday to the big OG, the big dog, the creator of me. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually bars. He was bars, uh, bro, it bars. was his birthday like a few days ago. Um mm -hmm. and yeah, so happy birthday, happy birthday father. And uh hope you had a good and nice one. Anyways <laughs> Classics, baby! Classics, OPM classics baby. that we have never checked out. There's a bunch okay, of new yes, names yes. that we've actually never checked out. And there's also in today's podcast, I'd love to introduce you to a brand new artist. Um he's on the Warner. Yeah. Music, Philippines. Shout out to Warner. Shout out to Warner. Um, his name is Paul Pablo. Paul Pablo. He actually does. The reason why I like him a lot is because he does a lot of like electro pop stuff. But he, but make it artsy. Make, yeah. Make electro pop pop mix Gaga. M mixed you with know? like OPM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's a good combo, like mashup of things. Yeah. So. And if you're interested, can I just say you have to watch his live performance at Wish. Yeah. The Wish Boss. My God. Unreal. So good. Actually, we can probably watch some of it. Oh, good. It's such a great. You're probably listening outfit? to his. You're list definitely listening to his music right now as we talk about it. But let's let's have a look at his um, Wish Boss real quick. Oh, look, he's wearing Viv Vivian Westwood. That's Vivian Valeska's favorite. Vivian Westwood on the neck. Designer. It is. It is. Rest in peace, Queen. Oh. Vocals, you see that control? I love that they have a saxo in the freaking place. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> hey, Banks. It's freaking phenomenal. And it's, and it's chill, and it's something that you can listen to all, all over again on repeat. It's such a freaking controlled vocalist. It's also a very difficult song to sing. I always think pop is hard to pull off in this environment. I'm glad I'm glad they gave him such backing with good musicians. He's from Davao City. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Oh, what six songs to play in the drums? Vibes. Ooh, <laughs> that is so smooth. Honestly, what a great combo of having a saxo with a deep colored vocalist do. It's like extra indulgence. Oh, nice. Oh, very cool. Come on. Arrangement. Come through percussion. You need so much anchoring for that freaking chorus. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... <laughs> it's like a really difficult song to sing. Let's go! Oh! She got him, girl! Oh! Okay, you go, girl. I'm totally in love with this. 
in case you didn't obviously know. <laughs> well, we were, we were only endorsing if we thought it was good. Come on, snap girl! She dropped something. My jaw. <laughs> That's a big performance, bro. <laughs> that is huge. That is That's huge. A fat, bro. A gargantuan performance, indeed. Let's, oh, cool. let's get on with our list because we have a lot of brand new names that we have never heard before, mm. actually. And then some classics because a lot of the time we don't, because we want to review a lot of this music, we mm -hmm. end up not listening to it in our own time. So we end up always listening to the same classics <laughs> to the in same our own songs time. Over and over again. Yeah, like a broken <laughs> record. So I've added a few sneaky links in here. Um, <laughs> like Sharon Cuneta, I know. We're quite familiar, we're we love Sharon. Familiar Shout with out her. to Sharon Cuneta. She's a freaking boss. Yeah, we actually we were meant to have her on the podcast last year, but then Ballet snapped her back and. We haven't been she in touch since. She was busy scenes. as well. She was also fairly busy. In times of, in times of like yeah. schedule, that might be good to rekindle that. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we should probably drop her a text. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be hey, down. Hey, Sharon, you around? Yeah. <laughs> um, Regine, I know people are asking for that. They've been asking for that podcast in a while. We've tried. And she knows who we are now. Thanks to Corel. <laughs> Efra, Waleska. Somebody wants to hear, say hi. Hi, Efra and Waleska. Corel. You know, her bassist. <laughs> uh, Corel is a big dog dong. Yeah, she actually sent us like a message. We yeah, reacted to nice. it on uh, on the stream. I think we did. Yeah, so maybe it's just there a sketch. There must be a clip somewhere. Sketch anything. I'm sure someone that's part of a team is watching. Um, hey, shout out. You guys. Yeah, hello, rock. guys. <laughs> uh, you know. We, I know she's touring. We can do this, guys. We can do this. She's doing She's I'll touring help you sell some moment. tickets. <laughs> Not that you need any help, but you know, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for free. I'll do it for free. Yeah, dude. Uh, never mind. Uh, but yeah, yeah. What uh, else? Who else do we have that is like... Easy Mule's dad. Oh, okay. That the, would be a first time, actually. The band Rockstar. Let's start with Shannon. The name of the song is Sanai Makhintai Angwalang Hangang. Hangang Ditonalang. Okay, friend. Let's go. It's a, I think it's a live performance, oh, actually. The one I found. I... Sounds familiar. Everything's going to be awesome. old as balls today, guys. And I love that. They're called classics for a reason, yeah. okay? We've never heard any of these songs. This is prime feature for Eddie. It is, it is. Show us the love. <laughs> Ooh, cool. <laughs> Makmahal. Ko. Oh, I miss the good old days. The 80s. It's wild. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Sit down, grab some pop. Get your headphones, people. <laughs> There are some proper pipes. There's no makeup or anything. Oh, Whoa. hello, sir. Oh, that is ridiculously great. I love OPMs. But this has a very... Cinematic feel Different to it. Different feel, yes, yeah. I agree. This could be a movie, for all I know. It could be like a scene from a movie. I totally agree. Nice phrasing as well. Mm -hmm. The song is difficult, bro. Mm. It goes everywhere where I don't expect it to go. It's actually phenomenal. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
Yeah, it does feel very cinematic, right? Like it's a no, also snippet the... from, a, from a movie or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is a movie. Who knows? Maybe the 80s were just that vibe. Maybe they were just that extra. Was it the 80s? It feels like it. I don't know. It feels like it. The shoulder pads. Also, it's such a heartbreaking song. We will find the lyrics. Sharon acts a lot, right? She did, yeah, she does. Matutuhan, I love it. Yes, yes! Sire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck off, mate. This is a movie. Freaking vocal performance. Sheesh. Wow. Scorpio 68. <laughs> Listen to me. Where the hell did that come from? What was Is that word I like? Do 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 man. Do do That's a good word. I don't know. Do my thing. I like as well. I'm gonna find the lyrics. Do my thing. She's been in the industry for such for a so long, long time, yeah. right? What a beautiful voice. What an incredible depiction of pain and suffering and longing all at the same time in such an effortless and dreamlike performance. Because mm. that, that's, that's the only way to like uh, really encompass everything that we just heard. It was very dreamlike, very surreal. And that's the reason why we were so confused by the fact that this might have been a cut out scene from a movie. This could have been a specific performance for an award show. It just had a very surreal kind of a, a essence to it all and i love i love that i love that you cannot really detach yourself from something magical like the performance was so ethereal that you are not able to disconnect the the magic from from the song so itself. the name of the movie was between walang ning ning mm -hmm. um even some malaysian comments are, are in the comments here and people are saying like, wow, I really miss this kind of Filipino movies. What happened? Oh. Do you feel like that if you're watching from the Philippines? Do you feel like this were there like was the something about era. the 80s, man, or yeah. the 90s, <laughs> or wherever this was from? Um, but the, the, the name of the movie is Between Walang Ning Ning. Okay. Let me see if I can find... Let's see if we can find a trailer or Walang something. Walang Ning Ning. Oh, yeah. Uh, Karaoke comes movie. Up. Wow, what a feeling. Yeah, it is. What a feeling. What the f Look at this. That's they do that <laughs> from <laughs> that's for real. Moment. That's for real, for real. Good old Sharon. She hit her head. She fell down some stairs, I bet. <laughs> but I tell you, bro, what a feeling right? this has. No, I, again, I know hey, I yo. say this often, but it just has such a home feel to me. This is literally Venezuela in a, in a nutshell. Ask. This has Venedicion, RCTV production. Yeah, well, to be fair, the music in, in Latin American it's movies not, is not great. good. Yeah. But, 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 but. The it, opening it, tracks are, though. Uh, no, like the, like the cinematic feel. I just feel like maybe that was like a universal thing. Everybody in the 80s kind of had the so, same so, vibe. So people consider this a, 
a timeless piece. Mm. We we are gonna launch at, at some point Future Friday Asia, which <laughs> at is at some point. Yeah, which is exactly what Future Friday Movies India is, where we sort of review movies and yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I I would be more than fucking pumped to check, check out some out, like, Filipino movies. Movie. Yeah, especially the ones that have to do with music, and it seems this very obviously. <laughs> Has you know a music team? Don't get me excited. Don't get... Uh, I'll launch it tomorrow. I will. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. We are prioritizing health. We are prioritizing health, and uh, you know, I think, yeah, not being as busy as as last year because we have to take care of ourselves. You know, we have to take care of Waluchita. We have to take care of all that stuff. Waluchita, también. I'm doing fine. Anyways. Let's have a look at the next one. Um, that was fun, though. Awesome. That was so fun. The next song is is by Marco Sison, which sounds like the hero from Greece, doesn't it? Some song or something. <laughs> it's <laughs> from Greece. <laughs> the one that guy's the Milena, the guy that has that big ass hair. Some song. Israel he, before he, the institution of the monarchy. He is sometimes considered as an Israeli Israelite version of the popular near eastern folk hero yeah he was supposed to be he was supposed to be very strong like the strongest man yeah. alive me basically Some, oh yeah me the strongest man alive yes sir <laughs> the strongest not only physically but in spirit you know that's the most important one guys <laughs> strong in spirit unity you know <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look at Marcos Sison. Sison, no Samson. Oh, he's a balladier. Released in 90s. See, it's the 80s, baby. Don't be shy, lad. I'm pretty sure you've sold out 60,000 people. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think this whole song is in English. Walang iba. Wish. Tell me what I'm saying, guys. I don't know what I'm saying. Please, <laughs> give me the translation. Give me the translation. Fine. When times get rough. <laughs> you know, hashtag when times get rough. That's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me start again. Be serious. Be serious now. Wish. 1075. When times get rough. And your dreams. Fall apart, and sometimes you feel that you can't go on. It's the 80s, man. It's the 80s. They did something different. Be strong. <laughs> Hashtag be strong. Oh, Hashtag hold on. For my love, I find it distracting. Will keep you. This night oh through the rain, vibrato, bro. Through the storm, damn. When friends turn their backs on you, and you're so helpless, you don't know what to do. I'll be on your side to comfort you. What cinematic, my love will see you through. It is a great melodic, what like, hair phrasing, though. When are in your How did Disney not, not cast more singers from the from Philippines, the Philippines in, the in the 90s and yeah. the 80s? I don't know. I it doesn't don't think... fit perfectly. I also think, Efra, there there wasn't such a, an internationality. Yeah, true. Then well, I mean, Lea, I, I guess. I think Lea comes into the picture because she had already stepped through continentally speaking she had already done west end before she does yeah, disney yeah, yeah so i think the americans the, in the industry already knew correct so. and i think they're they're the back in the days you didn't have that accessibility when it comes to like the international aspect of things i know i know for a fact because in venezuela used to be like that we used to have really great singers that were that even to this day, are just known in Venezuela, and they had the potential to be very, star. very, very global. Yeah. And I think it's just the fact that he wasn't as 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 accessible. Connected, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even today, I totally you agree. Cry, just reach out, and I'll be There's a warmth. There's a comfort to this kind of singing. When you stumble. 
you need a shoulder to lean on. All yeah, sure. you have to do I thought it was to cry on. And I'll be there <laughs> with a helping hand. It's a cute song though, isn't it? Like, it makes you like, yes, yes. <laughs> I want it to be in a movie. So long and endless. And all you see is nothing but darkness. Don't give up. Just walk on. Have faith in your heart. And the lyrics are wonderful. Oh, my love will see you through. Oh, come on. That's nice lyrics. Well, I would love to collaborate with Gary in the project. Oh my god, good call. Gary Valenciano. Wow. He's good. A timeless voice. Yeah. Wish closer. On wish. Thank you. One oh seven. Oh. And what a humble man. If I had that voice. What a great guy. Bow down, bro. I'm Hercules. What a great guy. I freaking adore that. There is such a warmth. I said it before, but that warmth, that comfort, that absolute um, serenity that comes with this kind of singing, it is timeless. That that style of singing with a ton of, of vibrato tends to be very popular for the male uh, singers back in the 80s. But this is just so phenomenal. He started his singing career after his triumph on a singing contest in GMA Network's noontime variety show, Student Canteen, in the late 1970s and early 1980s, being one of the classic balladeers to have captured the true vocal essence of OPM in the 80s. Sison, or Sison, was responsible for the songs My Love Will See You Through, his biggest hit thus far, Si Aida, Si Lorna, o Si Fe. Ooh, that one's interesting. I want to know that. Good. Hey, show me this. Si Aida. Si Lorna. O Si Fe. I don't know what language it is. It sounds like Latin or something. No, it sounds like Latin. O pareco, o pareco. Ang kwento po'y pakinggan mo. Baka sakali. Ako ayo. Sa problema ko. Bro, this song is bizarre. Wow, that's right, so really cool, So he likes cool, to do a little though. bit of... I can't show the whole thing because, again, I, I, we've been having a very hard time with copyright, <laughs> as you can obviously tell Love. by how many people have seen the podcast in the last couple of weeks. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, so he sound with Universal and then he released... They do that a lot in the Philippines where they release like the best of yes, these yes. artists, right? Um, and yeah, and he's doing fairly well. He's 66 now. He's oh, been wow. doing it since 1978. My goodness, that is a life and member of the Laguna Provincial Board. Oh, okay. I don't know what that means. Oh, he, he's, he got into politics. Oh, political career. He got into a political career. And he has, well, fucking quite a discography. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, he's been doing it for a while, you would presume. Well, yeah, a um, life. Well, nice, bro. How very awesome. Very cool. I'm pretty sure someone's going to send him this. So if someone does, hello, Marco. Hello, you sir. Are you are cool as hell. Yeah, thanks for making music for so long and yeah. for us to be able to go back in time, travel back in time and discover some, you know, your Fall voice, which does not songs. seem to age. Correct. How awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, talk about mm -hmm. Ageless. She's touring at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. She is. I'd love she to have her on the States. podcast, ladies and gentlemen. That's also true. Yeah. <laughs> we would love that. Just putting that out there. <laughs> you know, she did it with Bob's and Doe. I've seen that video, you know. <laughs> um, so, I'd like her on Vision Friday Plus. Yeah, let's talk about Regine. As a Isang Lahi. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What does that mean? What were you super? Why did you look at me that way? <laughs> I don't know. What does it means? One race. Ah, oh, And the com it was composed by Veni Saturno. This is a while back, you see. Nineteen ninety-one, bro. Yes, yes, yes. Every woman in the nineties had short hair. Not everybody. Every kid was born. If you're a girl, you were born with short hair as well, <laughs> and you had to keep it. <laughs> This is her prime, right? She was a baby here. <laughs> she was a baby. She was a baby. <laughs> So songs love that flute back in the day. It was a time for this like whimsical kind of like scores. But it's interesting to see her uh, like differences between that performances and what she grew to be later on. This is heavy, heavily breathy, and she's really constricted up in her shoulders in difference to what you will see in the years coming so much more open towards the chest the chest I'm gonna lie this song bang it is it's phenomenal <laughs> Cool. I love those signature little, little riffs. <laughs> she yes. bro, do that again. <laughs> Yeah, I want to see the lyrics, you know. Got that pianist, the Rolex. Uh huh. With that performance. Yes, yes, yes. Money, bro. Okay, no. Here's the thing, though. When you're talking, I, I said it a little bit at the beginning, but you see a completely different performer, literally five years down the line, mm -hmm. which is so incredible to me because a lot of this physicality, uh, physicality that you see in this performance, it's very theatrical. It's very forward. She's singing. With her whole body, there's yeah, a lot of sometimes. there's a lot of tension in the shoulders. There's a lot of like predisposed energy being pent up here. 
But you see, literally, a couple of years later from that from that date, from that performance, and all you see is this openness, this absolute anchoring, and that effort that she was translating into big actions actually pulls back and anchors towards her back. And I think that's one of the reasons why her range and some of her best vocal performances come years later because she understood the 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 energy and management and like the breath control that it, it she's so iconic for um it, it through these performances although that was incredibly impeccable yeah, like there that was impeccable in so many ways yeah i don't know it's, uh, to me that was but it's interesting to see evolution physically as well though i mean of course it, it that that it just happens. It comes with the years, you know. Yeah, definitely. It's the like things that you find yourself more efficient on stage mm. as well. Like you know, you can't sing every song with it with the same intensity if you have fifteen songs that are just belter after belter. You yeah. know, like you need to learn how to be quite efficient on stage. So the the lyric goes: If your voice can't be heard, what is the value of life? Oh. What is the value of life in the world? Will there be a present coming? And the times will change if every complaint is always whispered. What will I do in this world if the eyes that are seen aren't true? There are two teary smiles behind and freedom that asks when. Why don't we spread love? Follow the view of life. Fill the world with happiness and make it colorful. Oh, nice. We only have one race. We only have one ancestor. Why isn't love what you offer? True understanding is what I desire. Sympathy for others is right in the palm of your hand. This is a very like this is a timeless song as well. This is one of those songs that the 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 um, message of it still prevails today. You know. So Toto O, which is this bit here, aren't mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. It can also mean like the unreal. If the eyes that are seen are not real, okay. they just sort of interpreted it in they they said true. Uh, doesn't the night have to end? Doesn't the night have an end? After darkness, there is light. The day that immediately shines and lights our path that is united every dream of ours. And then the chorus repeats. You know, I would really appreciate some commas. But I, I, I love the fact that we, at least we have some <laughs> translators. <laughs> That's good enough. That's good enough for me. <laughs> that is so great, though. This is one of those moments that you really like in the lyricism that you you can really settle into that emotion. <laughs> Sometimes I get so confused when I read some of like the they're not Romanized. That's actually Tagalog, right? That is Tagalog. Yeah. Just, just how um, is it? I, I love I love I love putting some of the you know the captions on and they're trying to sing along in some of this stuff. But some of the words are so difficult. Very, very difficult. Like for example, I'll show you this one. Okay, okay this is a hard one. Pangunawang. Actually, that's not too bad, I think. And then when the song plays, <laughs> you know, start uh, that's how I learn OPMs. I'm like, ah, oh, the lyrics aren't that bad. And then they start singing. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. there's that Carol Banawa song that we really like. <laughs> uh, what is that song? I don't think that's Carol Banawa. Is it? Oh, my, my heart, it's not Carol Banawa. And it's not that fast. It might be Juris. It's not. Rosel Navas. It's also not. It's somebody else. Put it on. It's like... What the fuck's the name? <laughs> Wacky. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. Look, she looks so cool in that video. Yeah. Bini, 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 mo. Ang lahat. Yeah. Yeah. Let me put the... Wacky din alang. That's it. Totohani ang lahat. Ankai Lang, Ankoi Bangin. Nah. You see, Bangin, bro. That's how it bangs. Sometimes. It is a great song. So I put it in the car with my non. non Filipino friends. Well, neither are we, but I just mean but in like, the sense of like they have no knowledge of Asian music. <laughs> nothing. Zero. Nada. They know nothing, right? They listen to UK drill. <laughs> but does she listen to UK rap? Anyways, and uh, we were playing this in the car, and they were like, ah! Yeah, it's like it's annoying. It's talking about OPMs, bro. It, it, I was gonna say the, the OPMs have that power. I should have like, filmed that. Yeah, you should have. It's just I'm not one of those people that, because we grew up around cameras all our lives. I don't like having cameras out. I don't take pictures of anything. I Very rarely so do we either. do the fucking thing where you 
Unless, yeah, unless I'm working, I don't usually do that yeah. either. I, I, I like like stepping off from it a Me bit. Too. But maybe next time I'll ask him if they want to be yeah. with, like do a quick video, so you guys know that I'm not talking shit. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out Richard Reynoso. Richard. With Richard. Where is it, Richard? <laughs> I don't know. The name of the song is Paminsan Minsan. Yes, yes, yes. Filipino podcast is one of my favorites. <laughs> Me too. As you can tell by this energy. Ooh, oh, Sark wow. is in a He's freaking zip and tie. Also, is it just me? But do OPMs give you like a Christmassy vibe? You know, like, ooh, winter is <laughs> coming, you know? No. Time to play this as we walk around London. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, I the only one that does that? <laughs> You know, banging one. out Regine Velasquez, Nadal Hina as I walk around, you know. <laughs> I'm go I'm walking home and this is just the vibe. Bro. Yeah, no, I don't really get in what Waterloo, you, mean, but... you know, or embankment where you have like embankment is beautiful and then you're like walking through with a cup of coffee and freaking hot chocolate. Yeah, and freaking Dadal Hing is playing, blasting oh. through your ears. Yes. You know? Or like a Martin Nievera classic oh. or an Ogi Alcacid playlist. Or a freaking yeah, you start with a um what is the the other guy that you like? Um, Jano Gibbs. Jano Gibbs. You start with a Jano Gibbs song and just let the autoplay just do its thing. Dude. Even <laughs> like even Moira de la Torre. Like, I know it's not an OPM classic yet, but she, she is in she the Hall of She will yeah. get to the Hall of Fame, trust yeah. me. Um, but like a Moira de la Torre song, mm -hmm. you know, especially like like that winter album she's got. No, see, you know what I love about listening to to like the playlist that comes, like the auto like play that comes after doing Moira is like I belong to the Sioux, Ben and Ben things like that. When you're working walking in the park and it's like autumn and the leaves are falling and it's super toasty and cold and you're like that's why that's oh. coming up, isn't it? Yes, I it's, it's autumn wait. season now. It's not cold enough yet, it's though. Not, but it's, it's getting it's though. It's getting it's cold. It's starting to get cold. To I was get freezing cold. my balls off when I was just <laughs> outside. <laughs> he looks great. Yeah. They really gave it that big room reverb. They did, yes. I feel like Augie will be like a great feature as well. Probably done music together. Yeah. Oh, do you not feel it though? <laughs> I do. I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, I just love it. I love it. Oh, look at that freaking suspension. That, that note is so well supported. Oh, I'm gushing out. Something about a kiss. He's top notch. <laughs> Plus, he looks like he just came back from like his job or something. This yeah, is your like, job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's like an a, like a consultant, like an, a lawyer or something. Yeah, he he smells rich. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. But he plays it off. Or that really wealthy like surgeon. <laughs> See, and that's when you notice the wish boss did not fuck around, bro. He still doesn't. No, no, no. But like that, but definitely one the, take, the sound see you later. engineering, the sound engineering, it's it's it has gotten so like chef's yeah, kiss. Yeah, yeah. Like, ah, oh, yep, so yep. good. See, he had to find it again. But the notes are so beautifully supported. Do you see that? Oh, his tongue is perfection. Like tongue modulation, sorry. <laughs> that did sound weird. I meant singing yeah, modulation. Sure, sure, sure. I'm sorry. Thirsty ass. Huh? Bro, this guitar, bro. I love my most of thirsty, so is he. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my water bottle. <laughs> Come on, son. This song makes me giddy, doesn't it? I'm playing this this winter. Oh, it 
That's great. Unti, unti, ang luha ko. It's so good. Pinagsisihan lahat ng aking pagkukula. What's it, Sika? Right? Right? Kaya ikaw nga sa ay lumisa. Because OPMs have, have such a distinct sound. <laughs> Key change. OPM, baby. Oh, that bass. Dun, dun, dun. Flying now. This song is incredibly difficult, y'all. Yes, it's very good. This song hard. is hard. It's quite hard. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Sheesh. Ah. No, thank you, sir. Freaking. Yes. Uh, like, it is, I understand what you mean. This has winter vibes yeah and I, this has an absolute let me warm you from the inside with this absolute classic ballad i love that i love the fact that all of the songs that we played today i have never heard of before but now they're going straight into that this hit my heart this hit my soul in a different they speak to me in a different way yeah so pa ming sang ming sang means sometimes oh, okay that's literally what what it translates to Found it. Ooh, so it means every now and, and every, every now and again. Um, every now, I mean, every, every now and again, <laughs> <laughs> it's often that I remember you. Sometimes I wish I had that voice, like that. <clears throat> I guess I could put it on, right? You, I don't presume those people that do in cinemas now always speak like that. Bring me my water, you know. <laughs> Bring it right now. Thank you, waiter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> like, whoa, where'd you find that? You know that guy? I don't think he actually talks like that. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Okay, that's I naturally. Do, no, I do think, well, here's the thing. I used to have a friend in high school. When we were 12, he used to talk and, like, he, his voice yeah. had the texture and, like, color of a radio show hey, host. Were you? Yeah, literally. And he would also put, like, extra effort to, like, lean out his his uh, linguistics. So he was very, very articulate. Very clean. Very articulate by the time we were, like, 15. And he's a, he's a, 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 a speaker person on the radio now. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this jockey. Lo no, locutor. What is a locutor? This jockey. No, that does, that's not it. Because that's like the guys that do, wow, amazing. Bam, 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 bam. Isn't that a this jockey? Why are you throwing shade, bro? I don't know. I'm just asking. Isn't that it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you expecting me to have the answer, you woman? Said, I have no... you said it and I thought... I well, thought... Yeah, well, uh, that's all I know. <laughs> I thought he was at this jockey. Now, I that's why I said it three it. times. I Locutor said that... Locutor is not this jockey. I said that three times, so you would... That's all I have. <laughs> you would presume I had more. Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please continue. I didn't mean <clears> to. <throat> okay, yes. yes. Every now... <laughs> <laughs> every now and then every now and again it's often that i remember you even if in your heart i know that there is something new when i think of you the yearning i felt is still inside see he has comments and suddenly this is a great translation and suddenly you seem to be right by my side i feel again the warmth of your embrace and i can taste again your tender kiss i can still hear the vow you made that i'm the one you love 
This is f***ing great, bro. Ever so often, the memory of you still returns. I must admit that until now, you're still the one I love. I humbly ask, if you please, that wherever you may be, that you will think of me. Sometimes and every now and then. Oh, <laughs> what a, that's very sweet. That is so romantic. Every now and then, every now and again, I gaze longingly at your photograph and drop by drop, my lonely tears begin to fall. I blame all the sins and errors I've made right from the start because of these. You had the reason to depart. And even now that I have someone new, sometimes I even say I love her, him, too. But in my heart, the one I love is only you. Oh, uh, no, that is speak for the next <laughs> person. <laughs> no, that is just... <laughs> People don't know what peak means. That so, is just so, unfortunate. So even okay? in the UK, there's this saying, like, well, it's like very um, amongst kids, but I don't know who you've been hanging around with, teenagers. <laughs> your, your friends. They don't talk like that. Yeah. Peak means, like, unlucky, son. You know, it's, like, very unlucky. Um, it's, that's like, just, salty. It's like, that's what? just unfortunate. That's the most unfortunate thing. Again, if you are in a... Okay, here, let me rant out. I'm going to rant. If you are in a relationship where you are like the second best, walk away. You deserve to be the person somebody cries over in a photo. Like you deserve to be that person, you know? Not not the one that I love you and then this guy is thinking about the first person he ever loved before you. Unless you're the author of this song. Fuck it, son, stay toxic. You're making <laughs> fire, bro. Red flag, <laughs> red flag. You're making stay away. fire lyrics, bro. <laughs> You know, it might be, it's messed up, but stay toxic, dude. No! For the sake of the art. <laughs> ah, for character growth. <laughs> yeah, literally. For the sake of the story. <laughs> Ever so often, the memory of you still returns. I must admit that until now, you're still the one I love. I humbly ask you, if you please, that wherever you may be, that you will think of me sometimes and every now and then. Let it go. Stay bro. toxic. <laughs> Let it go. City boys up. <laughs> this is like a, this is like a sophisticated city boys. You know, he will he will never love you with all his heart. But no, no, no. He will no. Here's the thing. He, he did you wrong, obviously, because you walked away, right? True, true, true. So so, so he comes out and drops this song. You know it's about you, and then he has a new thing. That's why I say the way I say, because I know you're listening to them. I don't know, that lyrics of that song. Bryson Taylor says something about that. Mm. Not as articulate as this. You know? <laughs> Obviously he not. Says it, he says it in a genre he made up called Trap Soul, you know? So, yeah. But it's something like along those lines. Like he, In the lyrics, it's like, I say the things that, that I, I say them. Because I know you're going to be you're listening, listening to, to the, the songs. songs. They play them everywhere. Everywhere she go, they play my songs. That's why I say the thing. So th this is like toxic. This is Richard Reynoso, maximum toxicity level, bro. <laughs> it really is That's what I'm gonna call it. That's the maximum. <laughs> God damn. Anyways, it's a fabulous song, though. I would run back to this man <laughs> if he dropped a song about me that way. Let's have a look at um, Easy Mill's dad. Okay, okay. So okay. The, the band is called Rockstar. Yes. And the song that we're gonna check out is Mahal Parang Parinkita, which. Sounds quite familiar. Sounds familiar. Not sure if we've ever heard this before, mm. but let, I guess we'll find yeah. out. Grand prize is ten thousand pesos. Ten thousand pesos for the first winner. How much ten thousand pesos? Guys? No idea. This is also back in the day, so you gotta put inflation into account. Oh, correct. Because I swear, here in London, pint of milk used to be like a pound. I was like seven. Oh, Viva. Oh, Viva Records. Oh, dang. I think the guitarist is um, Izzy Mill's father. <coughs> and lead the vocalist. Sorry. They're dubbing, they're not really playing. Yeah, bro, it's just TV in the 90s, bro. It is. Not play. <laughs> the guitars are not even plugged. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
wild times. Different, different times indeed. Nice vocals, though, can I just say? I feel like we've I've heard, heard this song. Definitely not from definitely not from the original. Maybe we've heard it in like karaoke sessions and stuff. Oh! Oh! Limuel? Has Limuel covered this? I wouldn't be surprised. Has only the power cable. <laughs> if I listen to the song, feel the vibes, man. I like the harmonies, they're pretty subtle, but they're great. It's a song, bro. It is. It's a freaking banger. And it has such a rock edge as well, like even though it's a ballad. You listen to those rock vocals, they're so great. It has that ages, ages feel. <laughs> It's, it's catchy. It's catchy track. Well, he's a great singer. It's a freaking catchy a fantastic track. Fantastic singer. Oh, come on. And he can do the freaking solo himself, too. Yeah, he's the lead guitarist as well. situation I love that chorus to a certain extent you can tell what a lot of these new upcoming kids that are having like their own bands. You can tell what they're trying to replicate. Yeah, definitely. It's like it's like this weird era of it's like this weird mix of like OPMs, OPM rock, UK rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have some of like that Brit pop coming through Brit, as yeah. well with with that idea of like OPM rock classics. I see it a lot with these sort of new kids, these new bands. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's awesome. But it's just really cool to see like who they're because perhaps they weren't even listening to this you know they weren't even born then um if they if you know that was like in the 90s that performance itself so but a lot of these like new bands like and you can hear it in some sense um especially when we sit down and talk to them or exchange dms and sort of speak about their specific songs and stuff like that both privately and publicly it seems like Brit pop in the Philippines is like definitely changed the game over there. Mm. Obviously, the US and the influence of the US in the Philippines ginormous. Um, I mean, there's like there's areas in the Philippines that like their main genre of music is country music. <laughs> I was like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> well, yeah. How did we get there? It makes sense because of the whole army thing. Someone was explaining to <laughs> yeah. us. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting to see that the assimilation of that of that style of rock earlier on 
and then now you're seeing the assimilation of it through the interwebs. I just think it's like it's a really cool progression. You you definitely see well, even though a lot of these new artists, like especially in the alternative rock scene, scene of the Philippines, they're very young, right? So they they might have not been born yet. But mm. I feel like that represents how influential some of these bands and some of the sounds kind of pr progressed throughout the years like they really maintained their legacy they they sustained it throughout and it's Whoa. really freaking cool this has 26 million views it's a cover of that song Ooh. harmonica band featuring ju justin what justin kalusing that's a great song i must say this is freaking banging up a track Very nice. I thought it was the guitar guy that was singing in the front. This dope. See, this is kind of what I'm talking about. You know, it's this mix of things. <laughs> Exactly, yes, like yes, that yes, run yes. that would never exist in the 90s rock. That's right. Like that run that this geezer, the young fella, just did. Yeah, that's TikTok. <laughs> you see what I mean with like old and new? They're also dubbing. <laughs> yeah, they are. Still a vibe, though. Yeah, the environmental sound will be too much. Yeah. That chorus is so freaking great. Father and son. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, 10 out of 10. Yeah, they made it so much pocket, so much more pocket. Yeah. Go, sir! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's so so, good. It's Costa Clee <laughs> came out and started covering <laughs> rock songs. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Oh, John Ross. <laughs> like yeah, ex, ex Battalion. See. It John Rod doing something like this. Oh, he's too cool for school, this kid. This reminds me a bit of our father's band. It does. <laughs> like, my dad had a song. They kind of so similar, similar to this. To this. <laughs> Whoa. Well, this is so damn popular. 26 million views. That is very popular. That's a number, <laughs> blood. He's unreal. That yeah, he, that, that is a freaking sick belt, bro. Oh. Oh, yeah, the key yeah, change. change. Sir, you're doing bits. It's that flip flop power or the slightest <laughs> power. I, I, saw, I saw your feet, bro. He 
actually sounds more relaxed in the key change. Yeah. One of those things, right? Because you embrace so much more. You pay perhaps more attention to the technique. Very nice. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Cool. That's harmonica band. Harmonica band. I like wow, this kid. Cool. The kid is nice. And they buy the, their father wow, as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, dude, this has 26 million views. What? Bro. Why? Wow. Que musica. Look, from Portugal, well, at that point, 26 million people. You're going to get people for, like watching from all over. over the world. Do more collaboration, collaborations. That is pretty cool. Maybe, maybe the kid, maybe Justin is like proper popular. Maybe he's like a like a TikTok star or something. Like he strikes me as a type. Doesn't it strike you <laughs> a little like bit as that? Yeah, it strikes me a little bit as that. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Mahal Parinkita. Also, he's still doing covers of that. Yeah, he's got eight hundred k. Ah, yeah. You see, he's you famous. See, he can't, like, he's very popular. Look, he, he people watch videos of him getting haircuts. <laughs> That's like the ultimate sign that like he's popular. You might be popular, bro. Yes, because I don't popular. think anyone would watch that of me. <laughs> me talking <laughs> bollocks with my hairdresser. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, no, I don't think people. Would me watch asking him, am I gonna lose all of this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all this right, is great. Let's finish off with Apple Hiking Society. I love them. Yeah, I have to be honest. I have heard. A one single song from yeah, them. Yeah, one song from them. And I absolutely adore it. And it was right here with you guys it in was. the podcast. It was, yes. Yes, we did that. We did that. <laughs> We're going to do that again. <laughs> oh, no, someone passed away. Ah. Uh, so, Danny Javier. Um, so, I think Danny Javier was the... So far, wow. He is active 1969 to 2010. Ooh. And then 2022 with some occasional performances. And then Danny oh Javier, gosh. better known as Danny Javier, Daniel Morales Javier, uh, was a Filipino composer, television host, and businessman. Huh? And he was the lead vocalist of the popular musical trio Apple Hiking Society, along with Boboy Garrovillo and Jim. Wow. Oh, no. Well, I hope, I hope he had a, a great life and one that all, all the people around him are proud of and all, all his family... Um, hopefully got to enjoy the fruits of his labor as well and he left a fantastic legacy from what I can well, from definitely. what I can hear yeah. um, and I guess that's all you can ask right? well look at us look at us They're still checking out their legacy years after our you time know? here is obviously limited and uh, that's that's like one of the few things we, we have guaranteed right that everything will come sh shall come to pass but um, they will forever be immortalized by their creations and that's a beauty of the, their job you know well art is one of those hacks um, of life that it there's plenty of evidence to showcase that you, a person can become immortalized through their art. Mm. Their messages, their emotions, their perspectives, their viewpoints can be immortalized through art. So if perhaps you can encapsulate what you think captures your essence the most and through a little bit of luck, God, a bit of the universe... Look at the stars aligning a bit of for a you. Sprinkle of all of this magic. And that becomes a hit, <laughs> or people care about that painting, or that poem, or that piece of writing, or that book, or that rap. Um, then you can become immortalized in that yeah, sense. Correct. You know? A piece for of you stays. Millennia to come. Yeah, stays in this earth forever. Let's give it a watch. They also, I think they were some of those pioneers of that sound, the Manila sound. Which was the 70s, the leading sound it's of the... the it's the, it's the yeah. mid-1970s. So they, were, they began in 1969. So I know they were like folk rock, which is kind of what Manila sound is. But I know Manila sound is essentially the combination of folk rock, funk, and jazz. There we go. Um, so I, I'm not sure if they Apple had, Hiking had Society had They had, had a lot of... Uh, if I remember correctly, they had a lot of fusions of jazz and like disco music Cause it goes, in the 70s. Because it goes Manila Sound and then, and OPM, then OPM. Right? That's right. Like mm -hmm. Manila Sound is like the beginning of it. Ba -tang, ba -ta, ka -ba. <laughs> From the album 10 Years Together. Huh? Very nice. That's universal. the old ass universal. <laughs> oh my god, look at that logo. <laughs> yeah. Please, Universal, be kind. We like you guys. Oh. 
look a, a child. Oh, it's there. Wow, this is going to get emotional. I know. Batang bata pa pa at marami ka pa Kailangan malaman na tintindihin sa mundo Ah, I love it! Yan ang totoo Nagkakamali ka kung akala mo na Ang buhay ay isang mumunting para iso lamang Come on, that is brilliant phrasing! Okay, guys, I think I have a new favorite. <laughs> I like Jano Games and I po hiking to Zazu. I'm gonna sing that. I'm gonna sing that. I like that a lot. Batang That bit is hard. Samong dodo. Yeah, ang totoo. Yeah! This bit is too hard. Sounds like a tongue twister. Ooh, very nice. It's actually in your key. Yes, yes baby. <laughs> it is no, no, no key though. That, that is like a tongue twister. But also, that's like one of the magics of Tagalog, bro. Yes, yes. You know, yes. that's magical right there, son. <laughs> It is awesome. It is just so constant. It is the, one of the songs that exploits Tagalog to its best expression. That is good. Oh. <laughs> Batibot. The water so right, so good, and it's kind of like emotional too. Well, you you would presume that vocally and sort of musically. They're quite advanced for the time. Definitely. Because they were, they were a trio. Trends, yeah, yeah they're, they're also a trio. So you have three singers, three individuals that understand music and harmonies. And, mm -hmm. and just uh, overall, just mu uh, sonic space. Yeah. Ooh, cool. Ooh. <laughs> yes, yes. See, this is the introduction of that Manila sound thing, I yes, feel. Yes, um, yes. That type of synth, those types of special <laughs> effects. And just the overall swift, like, uh, swingy feel to the vocals. Because there's, like really there's really not a lot of, uh, a, um, what is it called, effort being exerted from, from the vocal perspective. So it's very common of disco in terms of, like... It's a good find. <laughs> it is! <Yay! laughs> That's a really good word. Yeah, I'm seeing words that I've never seen before. <laughs> Me too. I think this is the greatest expression of Tagalog being exploited to its best. They're very loved, so I presume it's a combination of so many things. We'll try and, and, and find the translation again. See if we can capture some of the magic in English. This is so great. It makes me giddy. See, that's quite advanced for the time. You you mm -hmm. wouldn't really get that. I There's guess in like, the US you were getting this? No, you were getting ABBA was doing something similar around the 70s. Yeah. A bit closer to the mid-70s, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. But What were you getting in the late 60s in the US? The Beatles? Yeah, the Beatles were kicking ass. Beatles? I mean, the Beatles were kicking ass. Yeah. You know, they were in they, full throttle at that point. Uh, were they come? They Were they known for like overlays no. and stuff like that? The Bee Gees? What about the Bee Gees? Uh, let's see. 
I'm thinking 70s. I'm pretty though. sure someone that it's um, you know alive was alive at this time. But they're the seven. They're seventies, aren't they? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. I mean, nineteen nineteen fifty nine. It says that they sort of began. Oh well. So, but <laughs> mo most of their biggest hits, though. I mean, nineteen to love somebody is nineteen sixty seven. Oh well, there you go. Maybe maybe the Bee Gees. Yeah, maybe the Bee Gees in the U.S. Um, yeah. But they 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 form they got formed to formally 1958 wow wow they're a lot older than i thought yeah yeah they i thought were. it was 70s yeah i think they reached the, the maximum peak of like popularity in the 70s that's for sure and they reached the maximum level of 70s you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that's true ah, with, they were born our brothers and mm -hmm. then they transitioned Atlantic into records weren't capitals they? they worked with everyone uh, well they did a lot of these labels are as old as them that's true genuinely mm. anyway sorry to interrupt that no one should ever interrupt this. Go back, go back to that, like, overlay. I love that sim. See that? And life as well, like that. I feel like I'm looking at my own pictures. We have pictures of that. Yeah, everybody has pictures like that, oh, okay, apparently. <laughs> la, 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 we we la, checked out one song from la. them. I wonder what song did we end up checking out from them. Nearly about over a year ago. This is the song we ended up checking out. Because yes. it was a sort of the same environment. I remember it was, this. yes. And we were also totally tripping balls <laughs> when we heard this. Yeah, sometimes I listen to this. Yeah, it's banging. Too. It is a great freaking Oh, and, and this is them in 2018. Oh, wow! Oh. Oh, minus one. Oh, this is really cool. It's kind of emotional, though. There I was, Bro. If you're learning how to sing, bro, <laughs> always prioritize technique, please. Yes, yes. You so will you be can able to like sing. This. So you can sing to your grandchildren. The rest of your freaking life. So then you can actually sell out shows because vocal on, health, you'll be fine. Honestly, can I just say, I'll, I'll say it today. I'll say it. I say it right here in front of all of you thousands of people. Prioritize technique, longevity, people. Overall. Who cares? If you don't have a texture voice, who cares? If you don't sound breathy, who freaking cares? Yeah. TikTok is no, not going to stay there bro, forever. Yeah, no, every TikTok, bro, yeah. Listen to me. Technique, clean tones, vocal tonality that will last you a lifetime. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yep. this, this is what you can achieve. Not, not everyday diphonic, not everyday not every breathy, day. <laughs> not everyday crook. That's right. I you mean, know? if it's a choice, welcome. Yes. Mm. But if you have the opportunity to learn clean, pure, clean technique, pure technique, go do so. for it, please. Yeah. Do prioritize and it. If you don't, oh my God, I don't have a singer. I can't afford lessons. Stuff. I start emulating singers like this. Do you don't even listen? You can learn like this. You yeah, can just emulate. Try start to... emulating singers like this. And um, this is if it, if you're a girl and this is not your register, then Sharon emulate. Cuneta. Correct. You know, maybe Freaking... Regine is a bit is, is a bit iffy sometimes because I think yeah, people. Yeah, but you have Shasha Padilla and you have people Dulce, like Freaking... great singer to um... amazing. You have Lani Misa Lucha. You can learn beautiful singing technique just by trying to emulate the singers that have already figured it out. Clear tones, good breath, good good, good uh, uh, technique, good yes, breathing yes. technique, modulation. I mean, you don't have to also, you don't have to aim to be a vocal acrobat. You don't have to be the next Katrina Velarde. There's no need, no, no, no. You don't have you to don't be You don't have to be Morissette. You don't have to be Katrina Velarde. You don't have to be Yume Capile. There's if no need. If you have that, 
that naturally great but prioritize prioritize technique because that won't last you forever and they are they have been in the industry for a really long time because they okay. have prioritized yep. techniques so, yes know? yes people yes well, this makes me emotional come on You can just let music be music. Wow, they sound amazing, bro. It's incredible, it's incredible! a different level of music. Oh my god! That is incredible! <laughs> oh, and the vocal notes are, like, the notes are so well supported. And they just allow music to do the thing that it needs to be done. What happened to music like this? It's such a, such a hit. It's redonkulous. I really hope they... I really hope they've um, made all the money in the world with their music. That their grandkids are set. That their son and daughters are set. Look at that. <laughs> well, I mean, I think they were used to murdering shit. But I really hope, because, you know, in the 60s, the 70s, like, as I said, with some of these labels, it's like labels were also learning how to deal with stuff. Mm. Artists were also learning on how to deal with things. There was only really one way of making music. You know, you had to really be, you just have to say yes to whatever labels pro gave you your way, sent your way and stuff like that. It was a different world. I mean, the music industry was a very different world back then. Um, in, in different parts of the world, I don't know what they were like. Obviously, in the U.S., it's very well documented. It, where we were from, we can speak to how we were from, from our parents' experience, from artists that we knew that were legacy artists from, mm -hmm. from South America. They could tell us their experience as well. Um, and, it, it, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't specifically nice time to be a musician. But I really hope that things worked out well for them because when, when you become like, like that, like a Hall of Fame 
singer, singer yeah. of a country. Mm -hmm. And I presume they probably did very well all across Asia. Um, at, as well, like even in the 70s and the 80s, if they were so popular then, they probably did transition to the US quite well. Because a no lot idea. of Filipino artists did. Yeah, that's um, true. That's actually correct. I don't don't really know for sure. But they, the sound and the absolute musical prowess English hits, was definitely there. English-speaking hits, the mm -hmm. Gallo hits, that means that they probably penetrated different markets. That's if true. people like Universal were interested in them. So it's like, mm. I think they did fairly well for themselves. Um, but yeah, I just, I just hope... They did great, uh, but also what a great lesson to learn from them in, yeah, pr prioritize technique. Longevity. You will have a long career. I think, it, I think longevity should always be the main priority for a singer. Like regardless of the style, regardless of what you naturally lean towards, longevity people, health. Yeah. <laughs> that should definitely always be the priority. And I think that's one of the greatest achievements of bands and legacy groups like Apple Hike and Society that they have they mastered the 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 technical uh, aspects of singing and they were able to still perform even to this day that is incredible um yeah i'm i'm trying to read a little bit more it's about crazy, them man. um they seem to have retired uh, you know from music like officially like 2010 hmm. um yeah i guess yeah, financial stuff as well. Diminishing creative process. Um, I guess as well, like, how long can you go for, bro? What That's true. I mean, and also, the, the music the music industry is a ruthless world to to stay for so long. <laughs> they made many things. Again, I would love to know more about their actual... Bro, they got fucking award... Like, they got awarded an AWIT award, which is like the Filipino equivalent of a Grammy. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they've, they've done. They've, they've toured for real. They've done know? the miles. Yeah. <laughs> Wild. That's incredible. Especially, Honestly. especially from 1996 to 2003, they were absolutely kicking ass. They did 50 cities in the U.S. Gosh, wow! They did Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Japan. Mad, bro. My God. How Anyways, fun. well, let us know what you guys thought Very about today's career. today's podcast. Let us know more information about regarding them. The whole point of the podcast is, you know, the community. We um Just to learn. Also, do share the podcast any way you like. Hit the like button and do all the nice stuff because it helps the podcast be po uh, promoted to other people that may want to figure out or find out music from different parts of Asia or different parts of the world. And if this is your first time listening to any Hello, of mate. these artists and sitting here in, welcome, this, welcome. <laughs> in the podcast with us, listening to our shenanigans, welcome. And make sure you share it with your friends. Okay, goodbye. goodbye. <laughs>